more work from home discussion, and Apple services price increases. This is Mac Voices. This edition of Mac Voices is supported by NordVPN. Get secure and private access to the internet with a special deal at nordvpn.com slash macvoices. This week's Mac Voices is supported by Collide. Collide is an endpoint solution that uses the most powerful untapped resource in IT, end users. Learn more at collide.com slash macvoices. Welcome to Mac Voices. This is the talk of the Apple community, and I'm Chuck Joyner. Folks, our heated debate over working from home continues as the panel argues the pros, the cons, the costs, the benefits, and everything in between. Then we turn our attention to the Apple services price increases that may be affecting you. Let's go back and let the panel do the talking. Jim, I, I want to make one point, and, and I want to move this on a little bit, but there are a couple of things. First of all, Warren, I love you, but if 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 you just admitted to what you just admitted to, I'd fire you on the spot. Tell me why. Tell me what. To because because you're, you're, you're telling me you're trying to look busy, and that tells me you're t- avoiding work. I said, no, I said in, there's, quite, there's quiet times in my job, okay? You know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a tech support, so there's times where I'm sitting here, and it's it could be an hour before the phone and it usually isn't. It's pretty busy, but it could be a half hour between a phone ringing and not ringing. And, you know, so, you know, there's not a lot. So let me finish. You asked me yeah. and I, if you were my boss, I would say, yeah, there's a lot of time and there's a limited number of things that I, uh, my position that I could do remotely now while I'm sitting here waiting for a phone call. And, you know, I could do, you know, some things that, you know, like that they have us do check other cues, check things, and I'll do that. And in fact, you know, my boss would love me because he would see that I go in there more than a lot of other people do to go into these other people's cues and fix stuff that they should be fixing. But, and I would tell him that. But, you know, when that's done and the phone's not ringing, what do you do? You know, you could, you gotta, what's different? Then if you're sitting in your office and you have time to read the newspaper, then if you're sitting in front of your computer between and you're on a clock and you guys mostly aren't, but I am. All right. And, you know, there's a time where you have to figure out what to do with the time that you're sitting there. And, 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 and in, the, in the office, it was a little bit easier. Right. Because in the office, there's, you could walk around the halls. And as an IT person, that was a big thing. Walk around the halls, see if anybody stopped you. That's that's uh, you can't do that here. So there, it's it's different. Go ahead with your it, question. It well, it's different, but I guess that's part of your job that there are going to be down times and they're going to be in between times. Sure, that's a that's a far cry from saying I, I'm doing something to try to look busy in the office or out. That's I mean, not what I said. I said there are times. Or, that's not what I said. Go back. I said there are times in my job where I try to appear busy remotely. Just like I would have done in an office. If it wasn't busy and I wanted to look busy, you would look busy. We all have done it. Don't lie and say we haven't because we all have done it. So are there times that in my quiet time, I try to look busy and I have to be inventive with it because it's different because I can't walk a hall and ask people if they need help. Then it's, you know, something I have to try to do. You know, in my last position, there was more things I could do. I could walk the halls. I could email people where I could say, how are things doing? In this level of work I'm doing, I don't do that. There's nothing like that. Does that answer the other question? Point. You know, when I question? have had, when I have had jobs in an office, I mean, mm-hmm. walk the halls, that was like, go to the bathroom or go to the break room. Um, not well, interrupting, uh, not interrupting other people. Have you yeah. seen, have you, have you ever seen the IT crowd? Have you ever seen a show about tech support? Where people it's a television you know, show. <laughs> have you ever heard of you know what a company tech support person does, right? They're the person you call the help desk for, or if you need yeah. help with their computer, they come over. And you never like heard the joke about like uh was it drive through drive bys? That's what people do. You walk to the bathroom and four people will stop you every friggin' single time and say, Can you look at this? I'm having a problem with this. You know, come, you know, when you have a chance, that's IT. So it sounds know. like a company with a problem. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, fine, fine, Dave. No, he's 
I, I agree with Jim, honestly, because, you know, we, a company has to have a discipline into the way support goes. My role is, and, and, and there's many of me in my company that are based in an office, we're not help desk, we're, we're on-site support, and we're there to help people. They they do I do experience drive bys, but a lot of times you know I'll say okay I'll, I'll help I'm you out. Not saying you, I'm saying help us. I'm help us. No no I don't know what yeah, you think. No, I mean, you just said you, you're not help us, but the help us. I'm, ex- I'm an extension of this help us. I'm a level but two do, and level. When you're extend, when you help us, people go to the bathroom. They don't stop them. They don't joke about that. Oh, it's always joked about, but it's it's just but does your company a need to be run differently? No. Every company's different. The way so they, why are you, they, why they, are you they, agreeing they, with Jim and not me? Because that's that's well, what I'm saying. I'm saying right. well, in an IT guys, person, yeah. you get drive-bys, yeah. and that's guys, what happens gonna, on low-level help desk. Yeah, that's all, okay. that's we're, we're not help desk we're, voices, we're, though, Warren. Yeah, well, we're going to move on from this because you know yeah. now it's turning into a debate. I, I did want to add the one thing, as I, I says, as it says we're going to move on. But in the examples Kelly gave, in the examples Jeff gave, um, you know, those meetings are intentional or gatherings virtual or otherwise and i think that's one of the one of the key points here is you know th- there is certainly a i think a, a benefit to some of the serendipity but you know at what cost but jeff like you said you know you go to you go to conferences because you're there to go to the conference to meet the people and it's it's um it's a more distilled down experience as opposed to just and and uh, I, I'm sorry, who said fifteen to thirty minutes, Kelly or Jeff? I'm not sure who, or or maybe it was Andrew. What? Whoever. I mean, you know, it was me th- about me and Jeff Andrew. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah. thirty to 15, thir- 15 to thirty minutes of intentional interaction, and mm-hmm. then everybody breaks and goes and goes instead of you know a two hour. Well, what do you think? Well, what do you think? What do you think? Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. Um, I think yeah. that serendipity is something that you can, you know, plan for, uh, oddly. Yeah. Um, and and things like what Kelly was saying, like rather than have it be, you know, water cooler things, which is, you know, it basically interruption kind of a thing. Like it's like, okay, we're going to have our serendipity every morning from 9 to 9.30. Yeah. Uh, um, and make time for it. And, and it, it means putting some slack into certain points to – you know, because it's not efficient. You don't, you know, maybe nothing serendipitous will happen to, in today's meeting. Um, so, you know, if every moment is scheduled, so the question is, you know, then you won't have any serendipity. But I think you can still have it in a remote setting. It's just got to be allowed for and planned for. I, I just attended over the weekend a, a virtual uh, conference. Uh a web developer thing and you know there was definitely some serendipity you know because there were hangouts and and yeah but you, you had to kind of be willing to sit there and you know sit through like 20 minutes of stuff that like i'm not interested in at all and then suddenly oh wait a minute i'm interested in that i just learned something you know yeah. um, um. So let's take it on because uh, we, we are running or we're, we're going to run out and i did want to get to at least one other thing um and that the other topic to, to, for today is um, that Apple Music and Apple TV prices are going up, <gasps> and I'm really curious this to see what so everybody, fun. how everybody feels about this. Well, uh, and I'll throw. In what the chat are they room. going up to? Is going to be the thing that we will want to discuss. Like, are they doubling? I mean, they, they listed the prices in the article. Yeah, they're going up by two dollars. I, I think. Um, I think well, somebody's correct. Well, I'm see. asking because not everybody's going to go click through the show notes so i just okay. wanted to see if we could get it on tape for people who are listening um, yes i'm old school like so that. let's see apple tv plus costs 6.99 a month now or no going up to 6.99 from 4.99 okay, <clears throat> okay. Mm-hmm. Apple $5 music seven dollars yeah okay um apple music will cost um a called rounding up eleven dollars um from ten dollars mm-hmm. and then the, the family plans are are very similar and uh, let's see what else. And Apple the Apple One, one bundle, yeah, the Apple One bundles are commensurate with with those kind of increases. So, mm-hmm. you know, is this is this a? I mean, some people seem to be making a huge deal out of this. Some people just saying, yeah, of inflation costs, etc. David, the first thing is that this is the first time ever that they've raised the price on music and on Apple TV Plus. So people are going to see, okay, it was four ninety nine and now it's six ninety nine. Okay, yeah, well it. They've they've had the service what two three years, 
So, you know, it, it was it was inevitable. Yeah. Netflix does it. Uh, all the other uh, streaming services have done it. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, yeah, yeah I'm not excited about it, but, uh, you know, it's not a terribly big increase. We are, you know, in re- inflation, recession, whatever it is that we're, at, we're experiencing right now, it's uh, – things costs are going up i mean mm-hmm. apple is being more than reasonable about it i don't i don't see you know they could be real jerks and say oh i'm going to raise everything in 10 bucks or whatever it is because yeah. uh because you know because they're apple and they, they sell expensive products and you know the macs are too expensive you always hear that saying that's the whole thing i think that we're, that's where the spin of where this thinking is oh I, I i would never buy a mac it's too you know it's a double the price of a, of a pc and you know people always complain about the price of that so okay but the services they're providing are, 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 I find, to be valuable. I mean, I think they have, a, you know, I, I'm, I'm happily a, a, an Apple One Bundle uh, subscriber, and many of us here on this panel, panel are as well. And uh, mm-hmm. why not? I mean, they, 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 I enjoy the services, and they're fine. And if they got to raise it, they got to raise it. I mean, it's it's not it's not something to go crazy over. But it's the internet; they have to go crazy. Well, yeah, <laughs> the, the the outrage machine needed fuel, you know. Yeah. Um, after Warren lost his Adidas contract, you know, they needed a new thing to be mad about. So here we are. Um, the thing that that is interesting to me about it is that it's going up a little, not a lot. Um, they're not, I mean, they've already made the other intro changes. So, you know, back in the day, you got three months free of Apple Music. That's down to one year. Everybody got like, I don't even remember month. how long I had TV Plus before they started charging me for it. Like it was a really long time (laughs) and you know, and, and I'm not mad about it and I won't be mad about $7. Now, if it goes from seven for TV plus to 10 and then 10 becomes 12, like I'm going to have to start thinking about it, but at $7 a month, it still holds a lot of value for me. Other people will probably disagree and, you know, scream about highway robbery and what have you, but you know, it's, it's really the, the value proposition. And, you know, for the Apple One bundle, however you slice it, you're generally getting something for free, whether it's, you know, TV Plus or it's Apple Arcade, you know, like I'm, you know, I'm I'm paying for the things that I want. And then as a bonus, I get this other thing, you know, kind of for like, you know, like if you add up each of the individual services, you know, I'm not paying for all of them. I get Apple Arcade for nothing or TV Plus for nothing, you know, if you want to think about it that way. And and it's just a question of of how they want to do it. Now, you know, going up a dollar or two a month does not sound egregious to me. Um, it's not Netflix whose increased prices is increasing prices again and then wants to continue to tell you that the ad the ad supported tier is coming. You know, even if you pay, you still get commercials. That's not a proposition I'm really all that enthused about. But Apple's not doing any of the stuff that I would think would be a deal breaker for other things. I'm not going to cancel Apple Music. I'm not going to cancel TV+. Plus. Um, you know, if if the bundles are staying commensurate, like you said, you know, if somebody sits down and does the math on signing up for an Apple bundle, it may be it may still end up being a good value, you know, compared to what you would be paying for each of those things a month. So, you know, in if it's in the neighborhood, like it's, it's not something I'm mad about. Cause again, like the value of it to me is still very, very high at even at the newly raised prices. So. Um, Jeff, uh, I'm anxious to hear your thoughts. Is, is this, I mean, web in the chat room is pointing out that um, the YouTube premium family bundle or excuse me, YouTube, pre- YouTube premium family plan just went from 22 oh. to 29. Yeah, that's up big. seven mm-hmm. bucks. And that's right. that's quite a quite a bump from, you know, as opposed to one or two bucks. Yeah. Um and, and the other right. thing I'll mention and then Jeff, I definitely want you in. Um and I lost it. Where is it? Some uh there is. Uh oh Frank. Frank says um <laughs> uh people wanting to hear hear themselves. They spend more uh daily on their latte. Yeah. Yeah. Go to Starbucks. How much money people spend at Starbucks every day every day. Yeah, every day, Jeff. Yeah. Okay. Um, yes, YouTube Premium has gone up. Uh, Netflix has gone up. Amazon Prime has gone up. All of these services have been raising rates over time, mm-hmm. and um, and it was only a matter of time before Apple had to do it as well. Apple, compared to uh, the other services, a lot of the other services, 
is remarkably inexpensive. Mm-hmm. Doing a two dollar raise on on rates on one hand that's that's nothing. On the other hand, sure, you can say, OMG, Apple just increased rates by 40%, which <laughs> sure sounds a lot better in a headline. Um, the, what it comes down to is this is going to happen at some point. Uh, there, there are fixed costs that Apple has related to uh, to having streaming services. Mm-hmm. Uh, data doesn't just flow magically. And then you also have to deal <laughs> with licensing. Uh, the content creators, they, they're they setting terms for how much it costs to have their content. And uh, and Apple has some leverage in, in what that's going to be or what they're going to pay. But ultimately, they have to pay. And at some point, the, the licensing goes up. And, uh, and that's just a thing we all have to deal with. So that cost gets passed on. Sure, people can say... Apple makes enough money, they can afford to just absorb that. Sure, yeah. but uh, Apple is also a corporation with shareholders, yeah. and Apple has a legal obligation to make sure that they're making as much money as they can for shareholders. Mm-hmm. So absorbing every little cost increase that comes along eventually catches up, and uh, and then that becomes bad business. Um, am I happy that Apple is going to be charging me $2 more a month now? No. Uh, at the same time, am I going to pay it? Yes. Uh, but I'm also going to go back and look up the articles um, on the steps that you can take so you can like pay for, for uh, the whole package at once for a year, which gets yeah. you a discount. And mm-hmm. so now I'll be paying less anyhow because... Apple just gave me the incentive to go pay annually instead of monthly. Yep. Right. That is a great point, it. Jeff. That's a we really did that with all services. This edition of Mac Voices is supported by NordVPN. Get secure and private access to the internet with NordVPN. There are lots of reasons you should consider taking advantage of what NordVPN offers. And what do they offer? Did you ever hear about a TV show or film and get really excited to watch it only to find out it's not available in your country? With NordVPN, you can switch your virtual location on your device with one click and access streaming services from over 60 countries at no extra cost. That opens up a Pandora's box of entertaining content, which you wouldn't be able to access without NordVPN. And contrary to what you may have heard about VPNs, NordVPN doesn't slow you down. NordVPN is the fastest VPN in the world. You won't even notice it's running, so you can stream and game online with no buffering or lagging. Furthermore, NordVPN prevents your internet service provider from bandwidth throttling, so you have a consistently reliable internet connection. Grab your exclusive NordVPN deal by going to nordvpn.com slash macvoices to get a huge discount off your NordVPN plan plus four months for free. It's completely risk-free, too with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. That's nordvpn.com slash macvoices. N-O-R-D-V-P-N.com slash macvoices. Thanks to NordVPN for supporting this week's Mac Voices. Today's edition of Mac Voices is supported by Collide. Collide is a fleet visibility solution for Mac, Windows, and Linux that can help you securely scale your business. The challenge with endpoint security has always been that it's difficult to scale, and when remote work took over, that challenge got exponentially harder. You need visibility into your fleet of devices in order to meet security goals and reduce service desk tickets. But how do you get that visibility when different parts of your company run on Mac, Windows, and Linux? You get Collide. Collide is an endpoint security solution that gives IT teams a single dashboard for all devices, regardless of their operating system. Collide gives you real-time access to your fleet's data and can do things that traditional MDMs can't. And instead of installing intrusive agents or locking down devices, Collide takes a user-focused approach that communicates security recommendations to your employees directly on Slack. You can answer every question you have about your fleet without intruding on your workforce. Visit collide.com slash macvoices to find out how. If you follow that link, They'll hook you up with a goodie bag just for activating a free trial. That's Collide, K-O-L-I-D-E dot com slash Mac Voices. Again, Collide.com slash Mac Voices. 
Thanks to Collide for their support of Mac Voices. Has Spotify ever raised their prices? I, I don't know. I've never used Spotify. Does anybody here know? I don't know off the top of my head. I don't know. Yeah. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm, the reason why I'm wondering that is, you know, I, I don't remember hearing that. And okay. so Apple Music is now more than Spotify, I think. Um, Maybe. I think Spotify is 10 and now Apple Music is 11. And, you know, the, the, the reason given for the music increase was licensing and presumably Spotify is paying that too. I, you know, ultimately, you know, there's no free lunch for customers or for Apple. Some people are probably going to not, you know, drop the service. Uh, Apple has made the the calculation that they'll make more money at the higher price, even mm -hmm. if a few some people drop off. That's what companies do is make that kind of, you know, and they don't always do it right either. You know, I mean, somebody at Apple is. Yeah. Somebody at Apple is, you know, people at Apple have given a lot. Uh, oh, cool. So um, what I did a little say, bit of research. It said U.S. subscribers see a hike in uh, family plans. Uh, UK and Europe had a pretty decent hike in Spotify for their normal plans. There are other plans, include student. So mm -hmm. student went from four ninety nine, four pound ninety nine to five pound ninety nine. Dealer from twelve pound, uh, the from thirty pound to fifteen, so yeah, similar, you know, types, uh, I guess. I mean, web, web, hang on, David. Um, web um, in the chat room said his twelve month Spotify subscription is one hundred dollars per year. Yeah, ninety nine dollars. I was going to say that. Yeah. yeah. Um, but this this is why I love Webb, um, because he says there's also an inflation factor to consider, not a big factor, but still part of the thinking. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but he also points out that it's not a legal obligation, but a fiduciary obligation. And that's something uh, did that I say legal? Pace. Okay, my bad. Fiduciary, yeah, fiduciary, yep. that makes sense. Yeah. Yep. That's so, the phrase yeah. of pace. Thank you, Webb. Yeah. Yeah. And I just so, want to remind you that the, you more for me honest. the more these services are out in the wild, the more the prices will get height, right? Because yeah, more competition. I Spotify, Spotify well, Spotify, it doesn't matter if it's Apple TV, Netflix, or YouTube TV, it doesn't matter. The more of these in existence, the more of these streaming services in existence, the more they're going to charge you because yep. you know you're saturated in the market, right? Yeah. Money, um, money, well, Disney, Disney raised the theoretically, rates. at some point, some of them are going to decide that reducing price is a way to try to get customers from the others. I was mm -hmm. listening to I don't know if you heard, but the Daily Tech News show uh, had something they they said it's been two years since a streaming service popped up. A new one. So mm -hmm. they, what they call it, I think they called it some kind of parachute, but there's, there's going to be a point where it hits the top of, you know, the, what do you say? All the major players are going to experiment to see if they could do the streaming thing and then things will get eaten up. And I think he said, uh, the, the host of it said Paramount Plus was one of them that's probably going to get eaten up. And I forgot the other one he said, but, you know, there will be a saturation point where and that happens and it's going to go down and then prices will. Uh, prices will adjust. I'm hoping. I mean, you... and speaking to that, Paramount Plus just is having a sale right now. Mm -hmm. Right. And and what, what was it? HBO Max is it's out taking Davey. Disney Dog. Discovery Plus is going to merge with it. Yeah. 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 And so you know, there's consolidation that's going. That's coming that's, into the market. that's because... great for us. That's what we want, right? Yeah. yeah. There were a number of ads recently for HBO too that it was like if you pay for a year, it's forty percent off or something. Yeah, for year that. of service. So, like, you know, everybody's kind of done a, free. you know, done some sort of something like that. And I think and honestly, all the part perks, of like the T Mobile, I mean, literally, T Mobile yeah. gives us Netflix, I think Netflix, Apple Music. I, I mean, so a lot of you cell phones. You get an Apple One bundle with, with T Mobile, depending on the tier of the plan or something. And then the like, Verizon has oh, just announced it too, right? Too Verizon, Verizon, just announced. Verizon, that's who they, they just yeah. announced it. So, with Verizon, you're pretty much getting Apple One, right? I think is what they said. Right. Yeah. yeah. So there's a you can buy Apple One annually for less money. I didn't know that. One, I don't there's, know, but I pay for there's music. Two tiers, right? I there pay two tiers. for Apple Music, I pay $99 a year. Right. Because I pay $99 all at once and then I'm done. So I do that. And then well, um, I, I, I'm on I Apple think, One now. I didn't think Apple Music still existed. Yeah, it does. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Sure. Wait. She means music plus. 
Okay, so but but you could play that. You could pay that ninety nine dollars. You could pay that annually. I thought yeah. it was. A... I just pay ninety nine dollars a year for Apple Music, and then I'm done. I I used to pay for the music uh, annually until I went with the Apple One bundle. Yeah, and yeah, now you're paying monthly. Pay monthly. Yeah, yeah I don't the, have a bundle. The, the bundle doesn't do uh, doesn't do uh, annually. Okay, so if you yeah. go into the bundle, you can do okay. Right. I and guess then, our research is done, Jeff. Oh, uh, no, wait a minute. Web says, uh, yes, there is an annual subscription for Apple One. Oh. Is there really? No, there's Web, not. Web, can you point it to us? Or point us to it, excuse me. Because if it's cheaper, I would do it. I Web's know. gunning for Jeff's director of research seat, sounds like. You know, I am happy to delegate. <laughs> well, I think, I think there's... There's also value in not being the cheapest game in town, right? Like, you know, we've all seen the like human nature studies where, you know, we take the really nice chocolate and we put it in a thing by the register and we say it's free. Nobody wants one. And then as soon as it's a quarter, everybody says they want one and it tastes better than the free one. You know, like, you know, there's a certain amount of human nature stuff that that you get from that as well. And I think it's I think that, you know, that's also sort of Apple having to compete you know, on, on that level as well. So it's entirely possible. It's something like that. I mean, maybe this means season three of Ted Lasso is coming soon. It's got to, well, it if I didn't have Apple, if I didn't have the bundle, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't subscribe to Apple TV plus definitely not fitness plus um, news plus probably not. So, I mean, but it comes out, I did the math like everybody else and it come, with the two terabyte thing, it mm -hmm. comes out cheaper. So. But, um web web says he thought he saw it in the music app but he has not looked in a year though so he's not okay <laughs> so what i'm seeing right now is it's, that, it's that if you want to do apple one as an annual subscription mm -hmm. what you do is buy an apple gift card oh yeah you can do that of and course. that and then do it that way it's, but they don't have an actual like you could buy a year of paramount plus you could buy a year of H, uh, yeah. some of the others too well now paramount plus looking, just bundled because there might be a better way because they paramount plus just bundled showtime with it so i, I just i signed up for that because it then it was not terribly uh, more expensive to have both so and kelly to answer there's three levels of plus more or less there's an individual family okay now there's individual family and premiere right uh, we're on the premiere yeah so premieres uh, the third of apple one yes, yes. Yeah, I'm not talking about Apple One. I'm talking about straight up Apple Music. I just pay for yeah, Apple just Music. Music. I mean, music you can pay dollars a year. Music. I, I, I thought yeah. you. I thought you'd ask uh, what kind of words there more than one tier of Apple One, and there. No, ones. somebody said I must have Music Plus, but I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. I just have plain old Apple Music for ninety nine bucks. That's what I pay for. So. Cool. So yeah. this this is interesting. Paul and I've been going back and forth in the chat room. Paul says that that Costco has Apple Music for forty five dollars. And he says he saw it today. Apple. For a year? Hold on. How do you buy? Hold on. How do you buy? I'll that? tell you in a minute. Well, you would think want to be of some kind of certificate or code or whatever, but, um, hmm. and I, I, you know, so Paul, we may be asking you to buy a bunch of them for all of us and save sure. us some money. I'll take the year. So. Um, guys, we're pretty much up on time. I'll uh, wait to see what Paul says, what uh, Kelly's research, researching for us. She's gunning for Jeff's job, Jeff. Look out. You know. <laughs> I just have the Costco app installed on my phone. Th this oh. is great. I, I love that everyone's doing the job for me. All of you <laughs> rock. <laughs> I'm just going to sit back. We're, yeah, We get paid for this, right? Not too far back, Jeff. We might find out if you do or do not have pants on as part of your I told Halloween you what costume. my costume is. Yeah, well, I know. Yeah. It's pants. Yeah. I'm, I'm, afraid of, I'm afraid of it. Which, by the way, is a horrible costume because pants. Yeah. Holy after dark. What? So let's go around the room. Uh, let folks know where they can find you. Um, I think Andrew had to drop out or did drop out on us. Um, so, Andrew, if. If you're still there, come on back. And if not, thank you so much for being here. Um, he can be seen over at his writings, I should say, can be seen at Apple Insider, and he can be reached on uh, Twitter as Andrew or not. Um, and I'm going to reverse the uh, the order this time for the folks that are left. Um, so, Kelly, that puts you up first, and I'm interrupting your research. <laughs> Help me, Chuck Joyner. You're my only hope. Uh, you're in real trouble, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, I know. Uh, Thanks. 
That was your cue, Kelly. You're supposed to tell us where they you, you can like, you can find they can find you. Oh, sorry. I was trying to send you the the um screenshot because uh Apple TV Plus is $45 a year if you do the thing um from Costco. So oh. yeah, one year subscription for $45. So y'all need to hustle off to Costco. Anyway, um apparently you will find me in line at Costco. Um, I just put a screenshot in Slack for you. Um, Thank you. So you can find me at The Incomparable, where I occasionally pop up on shows talking about um, sometimes the Star War, sometimes other things. Uh, you can find me there on my show with Don Melton, where we talk about Westworld called Greetings from the Uncanny Valley. You can hear me on I Want My MCU TV, where we talk about the latest Disney slash Marvel entertainment unit on the streaming service. Uh, whose price just went up not that long ago since, you know, that's very on topic. And uh, the rest of the time, you can generally find me on Twitter as Verso. Great. Thank you. Ken. Thank you for uh, dressing up. <laughs> Someone had to, apparently. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I put green on in the background. I mean, come on. You know. <laughs> it's like St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> oh, never mind, David. <laughs> Jeff Gamut, um, thank you for uh, putting on your pants as part of your costume. Um, where can we find you? We don't know that. No, you don't. I will please but don't I could stand, stand up. up. No, no, no. <sighs> no. Oh, wait, it's one. not after dark yet. <laughs> Truth um, is stranger not... than fiction. <laughs> okay, so when, when it's not after dark, you can find me, You uh, what is it? Uh, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Uh, basically all the socials, Jay Gamut. And... Um, uh, here on Tuesdays on uh, whatever debate show this is. Um, <laughs> and then uh, Thursdays on the big show. And then uh, Thursday evenings with with Dave on uh, In Touch with iOS. And then Fridays on the Mac show. And then also on the Context Machine, because Ryan Chaffin and I have teamed up again. And uh, clearly, we, we have issues. Great. Thank you, Joe. Jim Ray, um, I could ask if you have pants on, but I really don't want to know either for you. So I'll just <laughs> let that go and say thank you for being here. Um, where can folks find you? I have all kinds of pants on. Regular pants, underpants, no socks. Fancy though. pants. <laughs> no socks. Okay. No socks or shoes or anything. Well, let's not go to the That's, anything. Let's I'm, just find I'm, out where they can you know, find you. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's disturbing. Because I'm, I'm remote, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You want to see Jim's water cooler? I'll show you Jim's water cooler. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, Proview.com. P-R-O-V-U-E.com. And... Um, at least till the end of the week, you can find me on Twitter um, <laughs> at ProView Jim. Yeah, I Great. suppose I should have asterisked mine as well. Yeah. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. Mr. Squar, what is best for people to connect with you to uh, talk about your future employment? Apparently, they're supposed to call the help desk. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can call in. And... Oh, that's great. I'm very oh, expensive. Warren, you want a reference? Don't ask Chuck. <laughs> no, don't ask Chuck. <laughs> oh, well, Chuck, Chuck fired me on the spot. That's his law. Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. So, so Warren, what's your LinkedIn URL? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyhow, anyhow, um, I am a little upset that we didn't get to name our favorite U2 song off that album. I was looking forward to that. Um, you can find me here. Dave, I won't be here Thursday because I'll be away in Vegas. And uh, yeah, it's good to be here. Great. So Thank that's you, why man. I'm on. Yeah, because <laughs> we're not the same person. We'll be one Kenobi. Uh, Mr. Ginsburg, last but absolutely not least, where's the best place for folks to connect with you? You can find me at in touch with iOS at intouchwithios.com. I'm on my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash in touch with iOS. I'm on the Mac show on Fridays on the British Tech Network. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm on Twitter at DaveG65 and in touch with iOS, and it'll keep going. 
Good, glad to hear it, Dave. <laughs> Folks, I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices Live. Um, if you can believe it, we do this every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. You can He's join not us. You. He, no, I'm not. No, just it's just, it's just a statement of fact. It's just still hard to believe. Um, <laughs> 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, whatever time that is, wherever you are. Um, we'd love to have you join us, as so many of our friends have in the chat room tonight. A lot of good conversations, a lot of good feedback. Uh, I'm just sorry I could do everything because the group was very participatory tonight. Good job, guys. Thank you. Um, a special welcome back to Frank. Great to see you in the chat room. Hope Frank. to see you uh, back here soon. Um, and with that, um, we will see you next time. As always, thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for show notes and to connect with Chuck on social media. Get involved in our Facebook group or like our Facebook page and get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices Magazine, free on Flipboard and on the web. And if you find value in it all, consider supporting us through either our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash macvoices or by making a one-time donation via the PayPal link on our front page and in the show notes of each episode you will join these fine people who help bring you Mac Voices. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.